everybody, this is Evan Rogers. You can see I'm still wearing my Ariel shirt because I am plowing through these for you guys to learn them. Quick, po quick note, I will accidentally read these kanji for you and I'm not going to bother editing it out. I'm also going to try to explain them before I tell you what the kanji means, but Lord knows I'm going to screw up. So if you don't want me to tell you what they mean, start trying to do that now, okay? That being said, you've probably also heard my speech about uh, the kanji packet, so I'll try to make this quick. $3 subscription level at patreon.com slash Evans Japanese and sub or subscribestar.com at uh, slash Evans Easy Japanese. You get uh, access to the beginner's kanji workbook, which has 625 example sentences and every single kanji that you need to know for this test, along with writing practice and an explanation as to how kanji works, why it exists, and what you... I mean, it sounds cheesy like a pitch at what you need to know, but I kind of actually do feel like it's what you need to know. Like on yomis and kun yomis. I explain what they are, but then I also tell you that really they're... They don't, you don't need to know that crap. You don't need to know which one's an own and a kun yomi. It's, it's pretty dumb to even bother memorizing all that crap. Anyway, let's get trucking. Here we go. Number seven. It's, oh, this is the vocabulary section. It's all kanji, in case you didn't figure that out. Um, if you're just here randomly, uh, start from number one. Or I think number 59 will be the first kanji one, so jump over there. All right, number seven. Seito students, as for students, these are all like blank wa sentences. So seito wa, blank imas. Okay, so imas, there are, there is, something exists, something that can move of its own accord exists. The thing that can move of its own accord is seito students, as for students, there are, and then blank. Now you'll notice I, met, I said there are, that's because I know how to read this. This means 100 people. So they're probably trying to say there are a hundred students. And the way to read this, this is definitely inside my kanji packet. Hyakunin. One hundred people. Hyakunin. Gene reading of this kanji is reserved for um, like uh, populations like America gene, Nihon gene, China, Chinese people, Japanese people, Americans, that sort of that sort of a feeling. So these genes are wrong. Uh, hyaku, this kanji by itself, without a number in front of it, is always read as hyaku. So, that's the answer, hyaku nin. <laughs> you got to memorize these. Number eight, blank ga takusan imasu yo. All right, so imasu, once again, we have a, we have something exists that can move on its own. Takusan means plentiful, so there is uh, quite there are many of the thing that it can move on its own, and here is the kanji of the thing that can move of its own accord. This is the subject. Blank got takusan imas. There is a whole bunch of whatever this kanji is. This kanji is da -da 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 -da, fish. So if you know the word for fish, you will know that this kanji is. Sakana, number four, sakana. Sakana ga takusan imasu yo. You can kind of memorize this one because it kind of looks like a fish. Like there's the scales in the middle. It's got the head on top. And it's got the fins on the bottom. Or you could think of it like it's a grill. Like the fish is on top. Then we have like a grill right here. And then there's fire underneath it because you're cooking up the grill. Uh, really, it's a confusing setup of radicals that don't quite mean what you're hoping they mean. The bottom is fire. And the middle is actually a rice patty. <laughs> So, good luck making sense of that. <laughs> like, kanji are made up of different pictures inside, and you can usually guess them. No, that's that works for like 10 kanji, and then the rest are all stupid. Like, how does this mean 100? Anybody, anybody want to explain how that could possibly mean 100? I hope I made my point. Uh, okay, so number nine. I recommend that kanji workbook. All right, number nine. Uh, oh, sorry, neko, in case you want to do the, Let's do the vocabulary. Neko, kitty cat. Uh, tori, bird, inu, dog, sakana, fish, <laughs> neko, cat, tori, bird, <laughs> inu, dog, sakana, fish. All right, let's go on to number nine. Pan o blank, tomodachi ni agemashita. All right, so um, the subject is not mentioned, but it's probably me. Agemashita is to give. Uh, this this is So this is a good grammar sentence. It's finally not a blank, well, blank does sentence. Uh, so, agemashita is to give. The person to whom you give it to, aka the other person in a sentence, is often marked with a ni particle because ni has way too many jobs. Tomodachi means friend. So, probably it's I gave 
In other words, the mash that makes it past tense. I gave to my friend, tomorachi ni, to my friend, age mashita, I gave. What did he give? He gave pan o. So he gave pa- pan is bread. Um, you know, in English, we have pancakes, pan cakey. The pan is, I think, a reference to the bread, not the actual pan, like the frying pan. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it has something to do with the bread. Uh, anyway, I think this is a Dutch word for bread because the Dutch were some of the first traders to get over there. Anyway, uh, I gave to my friend some bread. And then this is the degree to which they gave it. If you don't want to know what these kanji means, pause it. Do, 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 do. It means half so the first kanji actually by itself means half and then the second kanji has a few different meanings its basic meaning is split so when you want to divide something split it into pieces um it also means to understand because if you take something and you divide you can start splitting it up into different ideas you understand something um and here it means section or parts because if you take something and you chunk it off into parts by dividing it you end up with a part so what they're trying to say is i gave half my bread to my friend i gave half of my bread to my friend uh really what's happening is i i gave agemashita to my friend pano my bread and then this is kind of functioning like an adverb i gave I gave bread to my friend halfedly. <laughs> and that's kind of what's going on there. All right, so uh, they're trying to trick you with pronunciation, so you kind of have to know this. Okay, so half starts with a ha, so three and four are wrong. And this starts with a bu. Um, when you have them smash, when you have two kanjis put together, oftentimes, not always, not always, not always, oftentimes that second kanji has ten tens on them, these little, uh, I think they're called nigiris, nigoris, nigiris, yeah, uh, yeah, nigiris, I think. Uh, I call them ten tens because that's just easier. It often gets that ten ten thing. So uh, this is han bun, han bun. This is the same han that's in like sanji han, 330. And this is the same boon as in minute because you take an hour and you split into 60 chunks, you get a minute. So this is a splitting of an hour, han boon. So in different contexts, these kanji mean different things. Uh, here it means han boon, half. All right, this is Evan Rogers coming at you. Uh, I have come at you already with some kanji practice. Have yourselves a great day.